welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here what's up my name is lisa definitely make sure you subscribe for today i have a little bit of like a vlog style type of video i really wanted to do a get to know me type of q a because I, there's a lot of new people on my channel now and um yeah i just kind of want you guys to know like the basics about me but i didn't feel like just doing a q a so i decided to kind of turn this into a get unready with me because i think it's fun like i'll just like take off my makeup put on like a face mask and while i'm doing all of that i would just answer some of your questions so i went on to instagram i think last week and i had a bunch of you sending questions and i got a lot so i'm just going to start going through them i'm about to head into my bathroom and then i'm just gonna get started so if you're interested in getting to know me then just keep on watching okay i brought this light in here so that i have better lighting um, I hope the audio is somewhat good because obviously I'm in my bathroom. Let me go ahead and grab the questions. I didn't pick any of them out yet. Like I'm just gonna literally scroll through them and answer as I go. There's a lot. So we're just gonna go through them. Let's see. I'm just gonna start taking off my makeup. I got quite a lot of questions on like how to be confident, this, this, and that. And I wanted this video to be more so like a getting to know me and not necessarily like an advice video. I have done a couple of girl talks where I would discuss topics like this, so I'll leave them down below. But I'm really just gonna answer questions about me and not necessarily like advice stuff. Where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, I'm currently 20 years old. Um, and so in five years, I'll be 25 and I see myself graduated um, with a bachelor's degree, um, hopefully owning a house. I would love to already own that within like the next three years, but what else? Hopefully being in a happy relationship and like possibly being pregnant or like trying to have a baby. That would be ideal. Um, I also see myself either working on starting my business or already have starting it. I really want my own clothing brand. And that's what I also really want to go to school for. So I'm hoping that I can like use my degree to start my business or at least like prepare for it, I guess. Maybe some pets, that would be great. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? It would probably be like somewhere like Palm Springs or something. I would love to live in Southern California, not necessarily LA, like I used to want to live in LA, but I feel like Southern California would definitely, like I'd love that, mostly because of the weather. Just anywhere in the US really, like I would definitely still, if I could and it wasn't hard, I would definitely still move there. But since it's like such a difficult process, I don't see myself doing that. But I really love the architecture in Palm Springs, like the way their homes look and um yeah this is the architecture like i think it's so beautiful so i'd love to like own a home even if i wouldn't live there full time i would love to own like a vacation home in palm spring when i'm like 35 or something and just be able to go there like whenever i want to whenever i'm not there just like rent it out i feel like that would be this looks crazy but i feel like that would be so cool what are you going to study i'm planning on doing fashion management at m3 which is the amsterdam fashion institute but I haven't been accepted yet. Like I'm still need to go through that process. So it's not um, like 100% yet, but that's what I'm working towards. Where did you get this work ethic of yours that I admire so much? You're amazing. Thank you. Um, I think I'm just naturally like a workaholic. Um, I'm also just gonna blame on the fact that I am a Leo, Virgo, and Capricorn. Like the Leo Sun, Virgo, Moon, and Capricorn Rising. I feel like that just literally explains why I'm such a workaholic. Um, I just love working and it's a great way for me to take my focus off of any bad and negative energy in my life. Like whenever I'm anxious, focusing on work really helps me. It's kind of like a kind of like a getaway and seeing like the progress I'm making just makes it all even more worth it. Let me just also tell you what I'm using to take off my makeup. I just used this Nivea micellar water to take off like my eye makeup. I'm now taking the Bobbi Brown cleansing oil and I'm basically just gonna put a couple bumps of this in my hands, add some water and then just like kind of rub off and like dissolve the makeup on my face Ooh, i just went everywhere one of my pants no way it kind of becomes this like milky consistency and i just i'm gonna do this above the sink it's gonna get everywhere but i'm just gonna work this into your makeup and then i just wipe it down with a washcloth but this works way better than makeup wipes have you ever been in a relationship with a girl before i actually have not but i've also not been in a relationship with a guy before um and this also right away answers the question of what is your sexuality i am bisexual 
but I've never been in a relationship with anyone, so there's that. What type of music do you listen to? I literally listen to so many different types of music. I listen to pop, indie, R&B, hip hop, rap, like I don't really have like one main genre that I listen to. So I literally listen to anything. And I've had so many people ask me to do another playlist video and I wasn't gonna do it because they're a lot of work and like it takes me forever to edit them and then they get demonetized. So I'm just like, it's honestly a waste of time. Like it's not like I'm just making videos for money, but if you're like spending eight hours trying to edit a video and then your video just gets demonetized, it's like you've worked on something all day just for it to not even make you a little bit of money. So it was, I, it was just very demotivating for me. To me, it was just like, I don't feel like doing these anymore, but I might, I do have like kind of in the plans to film like a January playlist at the end of January. I'm not gonna promise it, but I might do that. I'm going to be buying some new skincare soon, but I just kind of want to use up what I have right now. I'm just using the Biore or Biore charcoal cleanser with my Philips or Philips um, facial brush. So my skin is cleansed. I look so pale. I don't feel like it, but I am just gonna put on a mask just to make this video more interesting and so I can continue talking to you. I'm going to be applying this green clay mask from the Dana, which is a Dutch brand because I haven't worn it in a while or used it in a while. Favorite drink, I really love Fanta, Fanta orange or apple juice or just water, I guess. Have you ever hooked up with a celebrity? No. Where's your dad in Nigeria or Holland? My dad lives in Amsterdam, so there's that. Let me just put a little bit of this on my hand. Will you continue to get fillers in your nose? So, so what? Oh, will you continue to get fillers in your nose or will you just get a nose job eventually? I don't think I'll ever get a proper nose job because I just, I'm just not going to get the result that I want. Like, it's physically impossible. Um, so, I'm actually getting my filler redone in January, like literally in like two weeks or something. Because it's definitely like kind of just dissolved. Um, and I will be filming that and like vlogging it most likely. Yeah, I think it'll be a vlog. But I think I'm just going to continue getting fillers because it's, you know, cheaper as well. And um, last time I got it, I was really satisfied. I am going to a different place now because I actually work with this like, what would you call it? Like a clinic? I guess you call it that. Um, and they do a lot of different fillers. I got my lips done as well recently. You might have seen that video. And so I'm going there in January to get my nose redone because it's definitely dissolved. Yeah, it is kind of nice because I know like what I did last time and what I liked. And I just kind of want to do the same thing with like a couple different changes, I guess. Okay, so my mask is on and now we're just going to let it dry. Big or small dogs? I like both. I've always kind of had like small to medium. Um, before we had Devin, we had two Shiba Inus. And they're Japanese dogs. I'll put a picture on the screen. And they're kind of like medium-sized dogs. They're not very small, but also not really big. But I would love to have like a Labrador or like a pit bull or some some type of like really big, sweet, like lovely dog. But I only want to get a big dog if I know I'm gonna have like a big house with like a backyard and stuff. If I don't have that, I wouldn't really want to put them in that situation. And I also want to make sure I have like enough time to like take care of a dog but i would also love to have like a french bulldog and i'd love to have another shiba inu because i just like those are the dogs i grew up with so i feel like my first dog would probably be a shiba um because i just love them they're like oh, my babies do you have a boyfriend no i do not will you ever do a video in dutch probably not i just prefer speaking english are you planning on moving out soon i am hoping i can move out in a year from now and i'm hoping i'll be able to buy a house if not a rent i'm hoping a year max two like i definitely want to be moved out by 22 but i'm hoping i can be moved out by 21 just kind of depends on the financial situation and the home market it's just really hard to be able to find a place in holland um especially when you're younger and especially if you want to do it on your own so yeah we'll see how that goes first just kind of want to get settled into school whatever ends up happening with that and then once i'm in a routine hopefully be able to move out could you show your tattoos please they're beautiful thank you i actually have a playlist with like every video i've done on my tattoos which i'll leave down below i haven't gotten any new tattoos since my last video um so i'm not going to be able to do a new video on them anytime soon or well anytime soon i'm hoping to get some soon but for right now i won't be able to and you can check those videos if you want to see all of my tattoos you have anxiety so how do you juggle your life's work with anxiety not being a distraction 
distraction. I, I do have anxiety and I feel like me working from home helps a lot with it. Like I don't have to go to this public space. I feel like most of my anxiety comes from social anxiety and then also just like general like anxiety disorder. Um, some days are really bad and some days are better. Like I don't really know how but I just manage I guess and some days I can't and it just kind of breaks me down. But I feel like as long as I actually keep busy with work but I don't overwork myself, I'm doing really good. And if I do the things that I really want to do when I take off my to-do list and stuff, that's really satisfying for me and it helps a lot. I feel like a lot of my anxiety also comes from like not having stability. Like the job that I have, which is YouTube and social media, it's not necessarily a stable job. Like your income is different every month and sometimes you don't know how much you're making the next month, which causes a lot of anxiety for me. So whenever I kind of just... I'm really just working really hard and I kind of have my next month planned out then the anxiety isn't as bad I don't know if that makes any sense but yeah I open to doing collabs with other Dutch YouTubers I'm not really a collab person I don't think I'll ever really do collabs maybe like randomly but I don't know it's just not really my thing I feel like collabs are kind of over as well at least in my opinion I don't really care for them I don't really need to collab with people like I'm not trying to like get followers from anyone so if I'm friends with someone who's on social media, that's already like a big deal because most people are fake, so I don't like associating with them. <laughs> My mask is almost dry. I film for 25 minutes, I or 23. I hope this video doesn't get too long, but oh well. How was your time in school? Were you happy when it was over? Yes. Especially high school is awful for me. I would never go back, but my school experience has never really been amazing. So I'm hoping that next year it's gonna be good because I deserve it. <laughs> Could you show us what you do at the gym, like a gym routine video? So I actually switched to a different gym today because the gym that I was going to randomly moved to a different location. And so I'm kind of trying to figure out my own gym routine right now. I don't really have any like, I don't know, I'm just not, I'm not there yet. When I am there, I will do the video, but just be patient with me because you don't get a gym routine like that. You know, I've only been kind of starting to go more frequently for like the past month and a half. Um, but it's still like, I'm still trying to get into it. So please give me some time. Like people ask me this all the time and I keep saying I don't have one right now because I'm still working on my own. But as soon as I have a routine down and I'm going consistently, I will do a video, but please be patient with me. Okay, I'm just going to take off my mask it's dry but I my light died that's so annoying we're just gonna have to continue on with this lighting because it died and i don't want to have to like wait <laughs> the next question was what are your pet peeves i have to say i really really hate when someone is late to like especially continuously if you're late once obviously that can happen like it happens to the best of us i'm pretty much on time 99 percent but whenever someone's late bothers me so much i also hate negative people like someone who's just constantly negative jealous like doesn't want others to succeed just like better like i don't like that's like a pet peeve i guess and then the last question was pronounce your last name so my last name is onoa you don't really say the you okay I'm done with taking off my makeup. I finished my skincare. So I think I'm just gonna end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did, and of course, subscribe. Also, make sure to turn on my post notifications so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video.